Hello, hello everyone. Welcome which, uh, to this uh, workshop, uh, which looks like a family gathering. Um, but thank you for being here today. I invite you to come a little bit closer because we have those lights shining in our eyes and we can see your faces better if you move to the first or second row. So we don't bite. Um, today we have a workshop and our intention is to make WordPress um, more sustainable today. And that's quite a challenge. Um, so I will speed up. Uh, first of all, let me uh, introduce ourselves to you. Um, Nora Ferreros, um, she is uh, living in Barcelona and she is a UX and UI developer. And she started this fire, which she will explain about it later on. And then we have uh, Nawai Badiola. He comes from uh, Spain as well. And he is uh, a WordPress developer and very into uh, sustainability. And he learns a lot and he's uh, eager to share it with, uh, with the community. And um, me, Thijs Buys, um, living in Utrecht, Netherlands, and I'm the owner of Yellow Lime, which is a uh, digital marketing office, digital marketing agency in the Netherlands. We have uh, set out a roadmap for today. And first of all, we would like to talk a little bit about the importance of sustainability. And then we will introduce our story about how it all started. Um, and then we would like to brainstorm together with you how we can make WordPress more sustainable today. Um, but we will give an introduction later on. And in the end, we will have a short wrap up of what we've discussed with each other, what we've learned, and so on. Okay, so I will do some quick contest to understand why it's important to focus in sustainability, in this case in digital sustainability, but then we will broaden the, the scope of the conversation. So if internet would be a country, it would be the fifth one in times in regarding the energy that is needed. And this is going to get worse because it's going to be fourth in 2022, no, 2025. This is just under US, China, and India. So it's really taking a lot of energy. So yeah, to put it in context also is more than what the aeronautical and also the shipping industry, industry is taking. So just to say that is quite a lot. <laughs> And indeed, right now, it's about 2%. That looks like it's not that much, but it is, is if you compare it. And the thing that is going to, that is more important, is that it's going to get a bit worse. It's going to high, go higher till 14% uh, by 2040. So we should do something to tackle this and not this allowed to happen. OK. And one of the problems that we have is that is creating so much CO2 because of this. Just 20, around 28% of the energy we are using today is renewable energy. The rest is mainly fossil fuels. So this is one of the things we should also focus when we talk about it. And just to give you a, a number of how much how many grams of CO2 are liberating when you are browsing in, in one website, it would be around 1.2 and 3.6 grams. And when you add up, when you add up everything, it, yeah. So if you take a website that has 100 page views per month, it's going to take like a bit most of two tons of CO2 every year. And that's pretty much the, the same CO2 is going to take you as an individual doing things. So yeah, it has a lot of impact, let's say. And let's go for the more interesting and funny part that is how we started and I leave you with Nora. Hello, thank you for being here. So why we are here, how it all started, why we decided to make this workshop. So. 
come on. This is me, myself. Okay, if you have been in corporate in work and portal last year, you may know this story. If you know, I will going to tell it briefly. So this was the moment I was, yeah, it's not my best picture, <laughs> but it's the best picture I have for, of this moment, so it's okay for me. <laughs> So I was in the Q&A moment in the session Josefa Hayden and Matt Mullerbeck had at the end of the work camp. We have mm, uh, some similar session at the end of the day. So if you want, you can make any question you want and maybe things may, hap can, uh, may happen, yeah? So I basically make a question because someone, uh, Rocio Valdivia, told me to do so. And in this moment, I wasn't involved in sustainability as I am now, so I didn't have the idea, the idea at the moment, so I went to Nawai, and <laughs> I asked him, okay, Nawai, I have a problem. I say yes to make a question in front of so many people, in front of Josefa Haydn, and I'm living what I do, <laughs> help me. So we decided to, to ask them about sustainability in WordPress as an, an official uh, way, I mean, I'll uh, ask it if uh, WordPress Central, WordPress in an official way, were thinking to make something about sustainability. And the point was, I asked them uh, literally to make a team, if they were thinking about making an official team or a Slack channel, for example. So they say, okay, if you want a Slack channel, you have it. And they created the channel in that moment. Uh, it was really impressive, so in this same moment, people uh, began to join the channel and so. So one year later, you, we already are 200 people in the channel, or more, I don't know, because it's a, yeah, it's been more now, so yeah. So basically, we have spent uh, this whole year um, trying to figure out how to make sustainable, WordPress more sustainable. Uh, if you have not joined the channel, it's a good moment to, to do it. So with, we, with this workshop, we want to keep con continue uh, answering this, this question. Uh, we want you to help us uh, to answer that. What can we do to make WordPress sustainable today for continuing the, the work we are um, making, we have been making this year. So, Thais, please okay. tell. Actually, this is part of the story. Um, because about two weeks ago, um, we published a proposal on makewordpress.org uh, saying that we were ready for creating an uh, official team, an official sustainability team. Um, and we have outlined already what we've done so far. We also outlined a few pillars we would like to focus on. Um, and this proposal uh, was submitted and a lot of people have given positive feedback um, and asked questions about the things we, uh, we think about and how we look at uh, certain things. Um, and during this uh, conference here in Athens, we had the contributor day. We had a table there as well. And um, at a certain moment, maybe it's better that you tell, Nora, <laughs> you want Yeah, um, I have this wonderful picture, and I also have a moment <laughs> that I, I left the, the um, table, the table, table, and Josefa Hayden has appeared. So I was out because I was <laughs> in the bathroom at the moment, <laughs> but my colleagues, Talked with with her and he and her she gave us the green light for for the the team and I don't know if you want to <laughs> explain. Yeah. Yeah, a nice a nice to hear you saying because you you started the fire uh, Nora. Um, so what's important to stress is that sustainability is quite quite broad in relation to WordPress. It's also broad in relation to open source. And we have a few pillars to focus on. Um, and one thing is the, that we um, would like to, to improve the way we gather as a community um, to see how we can gather more sustainably. And what we've done so far is we're writing a document 
and get a lot of feedback from previous uh, organizers of uh, WordCamps, um, but also local meetups, to see how we can improve and learn from best practices um, the camps and the, the meetups we organize in a more sustainable way. So that's one, one of the things we focus on. The second thing is that we said that uh, WordPress needs to be uh, leading on sustainability. Um, WordPress is having its 20th anniversary and WordPress is leading, it's the, the motor, it's the engine under 40% of the websites which are currently live. So that's an enormous, enormous amount. Um, so WordPress has an enormous impact and as a community, uh, as a CMS, it should become uh, leading on sustainability. Um, it's not only the great work that has been done by the performance team already, um, but it's also once you install WordPress core, you, instart, you install uh, a team, maybe you install page builders, uh, maybe you install plugins, uh, maybe you add photos, videos, etc., and then, well, the fire gets started. Uh, that needs a lot of power to, uh, to produce every page load, and we should create awareness amongst the users of WordPress. Uh, developers, but also those persons who just start the blog about their favorite pet or their favorite animal, we should create awareness amongst those people as well. Um, that's the second part. And the third part is based on the longevity of WordPress. It's social because it's open source and we have a lot of contributors. How can we engage people to contribute in the coming years? Because we are celebrating our 20th anniversary and we want to celebrate also the 25th and maybe the 40th anniversary of WordPress. So what's needed, um, seen from a social uh, perspective, um, to make WordPress sustainable? And fourth is the uh, financial, the economical part. Um, there's a lot of talks about the funding of all the work that's been done by contributors and you want to have continuity in the development of WordPress um, so that's something that's important as well to stress. So we are looking, if we speak about the sustainability of WordPress, we have four items to work on. Well, today we would like, with this nice group of people in front of me and together with us, we would like to brainstorm about those things that come up in your mind that we can put on our roadmap uh, as a team, because we are now a formal team, an official team, uh, to work on in the coming uh, coming months, coming maybe coming years, even to come. Um, and there, we put three three topics on this uh, on these slides. First is about the uh, the knowledge about digital sustainability. We are aware of what's going on with regards to emission, and um, we would like to share your ideas on this topic. Then it's about the way we collaborate and work together and how we meet as a community. And then the third topic, it's about uh, building a uh, CMS that leads on sustainability. So what I invite you to do, we have this handout over here. And I invite you Um, we would like to have an, a moment of brainstorming together for those three topics. And brainstorming means that we work silently and discuss afterwards. It looks like <laughs> work to do, but... <laughs> like <laughs> but uh, It's a workshop, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the idea is since we are few people and nice people here, we can keep it casual. So don't be afraid to write down your craziest idea or the funniest one. So the idea is just to play and share ideas on these topics. We just choose three of them to keep it simple. If you have a brilliant idea of some other one, you can just share it as well. So it's just to keep it a bit of a structure. But yeah, feel free. Also, if you have any questions, please please feel free to, to ask.
Sure. Yeah. It's it, just it, about how to share or how to educate people. Yep. Yeah. Is that? Okay. Yeah, in a broader sense possible. Yeah. Yeah, it can be not just how, because I mean, we can make okay a workshop or a talk. It can be also who we can um, uh, talk with or how we can talk with the people, because I personally think it's the most big, the bigger problem we have, how we talk with people about sustainability or what we say to people. And if you feel we are making things in a way that can be improved, for example, you, you can think about it, how and who, and also you have an idea about another format of spreading the word, could be, could be good to know also. Also, if you know about existing platforms or media that's already doing it, maybe we don't know about it, so we're very eager to hear about it. Yeah, or, or if you personal feel you, you don't find anything, sometimes I, I feel, I don't know, I, I don't find something that would be good to, to do, it would be great, or even a question about, I don't know how to do it, but I am thinking about, about how can we do blah or blah, could be also be a good point to, to share. Hello world. Or, uh, Hello Dolly. Hello Dolly. Hello Dolly. Thank you. There's a way to one. The, the stone one. It's based on my idea. I'm so sorry. You can ask the audience in later of the year. I'm coming to you. You can ask Mark directly about it. You are a I don't know how many kilobytes are. Probably not a lot, but yeah, but a lot of active installations and updating things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So s if someone feels brave enough to <laughs> pitch it to Matt later, you are feel <laughs> feel free to do it. <laughs> I really invite you. You never know <laughs> what could happen la la later. Sorry. You also have ever made something that we didn't talk uh, ever about. Sustainability could be a great example too. It's like being a teacher right now. <laughs> You need more paper, we have. <laughs> but first, use the back, because we are sustainable people, we are not <laughs> animals. <laughs> it, 
it's really impressive to see you right here. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. We, we thought that we were going to, yeah. Do you want to? Yeah, no, uh, we didn't mention it. I think some of you already feel the name. The name is absolutely optional. We just want to gather the ideas. If you feel comfortable putting your, adding your username of WordPress, perfect. If not, even. Yeah, the thing is, we are thinking, we are going to make a summary, put in the channel, maybe make a post. So if you want us to, to name you after your ideas, please put the name because we, we will like to. But if you don't feel comfortable about putting your name, it's okay to, it's just for you to, to know that we are, we will uh, summarize every, every idea, so the good ideas we have, so for you to know. Okay, are you finished? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> if not, we have just 20 minutes left <laughs> of yeah. the workshop, so, so <laughs> one like more minute discuss. if you want, but we will begin. Ah, yeah, yeah, we will f uh, begin with the first one, with the first topic, so then we will go through the next one, just in case if you have the first topic here. We can uh, start with it. I so many people like writing, so I. <laughs> so yeah. If anyone feels like breaking the ice <laughs> with one idea, Ramon is going. <laughs> I'm going for you. <laughs> then, then you can pass the mic if you want. Okay. So it's recorded. Okay. So um, the first question: knowledge about digital sustainability. <coughs> what I've written down is a link to wordpress.tv with a brief explanation, ex uh, brief, not a long one, uh, in the default WP dashboard. So when you open up WordPress, then there's a link about sustainability, a meta box, which goes to wordpress.tv with some short um, animation telling you about digital sustainability for media, for instance. That's, that's interesting. One task we, are, we want to do is to put under the same tag the sustainability videos that are already, but that could be a, a good addition to have more, also more, yeah, to be more reachable. Yeah, that's good. I think behind you. Uh, my idea is pretty much the same, but it involves removing the Hello Dolly, which I will not repeat again, <laughs> <laughs> and replacing it uh, with a similar plugin that will give a notification to the user once he enters, but it will not come again, because we all know the thing that too many notifications in WordPress, you know? 
uh, which will notify them about the sustainability and what he can do to make this go away, for, to make this, um, oh my God, I forgot to speak English, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no worries, no, nobody here, I think, is native English, so <laughs> calm. Uh, actually, that's about it. This mode to replace the, your make another one like Hello Dolly, which is small and will only notify the users about these concerns. Well, I had about the same idea, but another solution. Uh, maybe it's uh, possible to include something like energy usage or CO2 usage uh, in the site diagnose. That's, that's a part of the regular uh, control and then some, something says that this site uses that many grams of uh, CO2. That, that part is one that is already ongoing, it's, so it's a really good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah, we have now three plugins that mm, do similar stuff. We are deciding which one keep and how to make the language as simple and accessible as possible to someone that arrives and pops up that information, they really get it. And maybe with some link to, to more info, but yeah, really good addition. Anyone can want to share? Okay. Uh, so one uh, aspect that I, I don't think you've talked about, but it's, it's just the amount of uh, CO2 and kind of uh, other resources that are used in the servers that are running WordPress. So as opposed to the energy you is used on every page load. I feel like there's a lot of, um, it's so easy to spin up a big kind of server to host your tiny WordPress site, which doesn't, it doesn't make right, these are just super simple sites, but they're running on super powerful servers. And I think there's so much wastage happening there. I don't know how you can, it's not as easy to put a metric on that, let's say in a plugin, but I think raising awareness about that is important because you know, like, we don't all have to go onto shared hosting platforms, but that model is a, a much better use of resources. And so I'm not saying everyone has to do that, but maybe there's other ways in which you can kind of use server resources more efficiently. So. Um, then you focus on the difference between managed and uh, private hosting. Yeah. So yeah, I suppose yeah. So I guess most of the you know if you on a if you on a, a a big WordPress hosting platform, I'm presume they're doing a lot of uh, optimizations just for economic reasons. But for people that are hosting, yes, yeah, so I suppose I don't actually know. It'd be I'd be interested to know, let's say, the amount of resources that are wasted there compared to the amount of resources that are wasted on each page load. I don't know, you know, because maybe I don't know if it's maybe is it. Is it if it's not, if that's insignificant in comparison, then in terms of what you would prioritize, I, w I guess I'm saying it would be good to n know which has the biggest impact in order to prioritize it. But I don't know. Um, I, yeah. I can give a bit of insight into that. Yeah. Sure. Um, it's been going for a long time. Yes. Um, that works. Thank you. <coughs> so um, I, I'm probably not allowed to say a lot here, but I'll say what I think I can. Um, uh, we are very cognizant at WP Engine about the complete difference in scale between what we call the farm, our customers, the computation and resources spent on serving our customers' WordPress sites versus um, uh, what we call the control plane, which is what we use to administer and run that infrastructure. And the, obviously, I mean, we have um, hundreds of thousands of sites hosted uh, and uh, that completely dwarfs anything that we're looking at. And I mean, we look at it from a financial perspective, you know, uh, uh, the dollar cost of um, customer hosting versus the dollar cost of um, the, uh, the meta stuff, I suppose, the, uh, the control plane stuff. Uh, but I mean, it, it, it's a conversation that we have wh whenever we put out a new feature, how, how much is this gonna cost? And for a large, 
in general, cost correlates very well with sustainability. Like, like as the, you know, the cheaper it is, the less compute resources, the less memory resources, the less storage we're using, the less data transfer. Um, so, I mean, it is definitely a conversation. I, I, can, I cannot imagine that other hosting companies are not having the same conversations. Yes, I guess I'm just kind of thinking about those people that are like, okay, you know, I want to spin up my own VPS, and it's kind of, you know, because somehow there's a, a kind of, people don't want to be on shared hosting often. They want, you know, their own kind of, it feels like, okay, I need, this is an important website. I need my own server here. But actually that's so waste, it's so wasteful to, to do that. So. I love the conversation, but we would like Sorry, to yeah. try to arrive to the three topics. <laughs> but really good point, and we keep it in mind. And shall we move? I don't know if someone has a strong idea for the first one, but maybe if not, we could, yep. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go for it. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I noted down like the thing uh, what you were both uh, asking about. Uh, but I think the very first step we could do, and I would love to have like more transparency uh, about where all of the files of the current WordPress repository are stored and how you know uh, uh, sustainable is this uh, storage and if we can change that. Yeah, because if we are the community responsible for that, I understand you know. Automatic as a uh, corporate entity, they do have their own policy. But you know, as a WordPress.org, <laughs> I think we could have more impact on like, okay, let's choose a better service provider to, you know, have this CO2 uh, imprint uh, decreased. Good point. Thanks. Same with GitHub. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really good point. Shall we? Yeah, you have one on the MPS plus. <laughs> Maybe I'm the only person in the room, but I really don't feel and don't believe that my small WordPress website is so important in terms of sustainability. So I think as a sustainability team, you have a lot of job to do to bring this to every website owner to realize that they, I don't know, that matters. Because even if the presentation in the beginning, I feel like, okay, chat GPT is using a lot of power and other AWS and others, what you want with my very small blog, so leave it alone. So I think if you really want to bring this topic to every WordPress member, there is a lot of a lot to do so everyone can understand that it's important and even the small piece really matters. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Satun teacher. This Yeah? Shall we yeah. Let's, may, let's move to the collaborator on editing sustainability. What do you think about that? Um, yeah? <laughs> yeah? For example, I would suggest uh, that we create in WordPress Central when we have the overview of the work camps. Uh, this will be displayed at the distance you are traveling. And if you are traveling by car or train or plane, how much CO2 you are consuming going to that work camp from your location? that could also raise a bit of awareness on your yeah, impact. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a very good point because we, many times we don't think about this and it's, it's okay. Hi, I think we should ask the sponsors for their help so we don't have so much waste and so much plastic and paper things given uh, that at the end when we arrive home, they, most of them usually is, uh, end up in the trash. So perhaps we can <laughs> ask all the sponsors to move to a, a rethink the, the swag and the gift to, to all the attendees in a more sustainable way. Yeah, great, thank you. As a designer, I, I, I'm looking forward to sponsor to be really creative because I, I know they need to ask to remember them, but maybe in other ways, I, I, I am looking forward to them for creating things and looking what well, they are, yes, so thank you. What do you think now this or another way we can collaborate in and gather in? Or what do you think about these topics, if you have any, because sometimes I think we are asking a sponsor, but maybe people sometimes want to receive things. I don't know, maybe if it's our idea, but we don't have many things, but 
maybe attendees want to? Yeah, I think that in general, there needs to be a standard for each meetup. So for example, maybe there should be a criteria or whatever when the event is being organized. What has to be done, like, you know, that is a standard and that has to be met when the hosts are chosen, for example. So every at every meetup, you would have the same treatment of the garbage of this and that. So for example, now I, I can see that we are not splitting the garbage, like, you know, this is burnable, this is not burnable. Maybe there is something to be done on that front too. Yeah, that, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to take something? Because I have to take to you. Uh, yeah, as, <laughs> as a meetup organizer, it will be great to have a handbook. We are working in a handbook for making suggestions for people who don't know how, what to do for uh, improving sustainability in their events, have ideas, but we, ha we also have to understand it's very difficult sometimes to, to have these things, like the one you have just said as a um, meetup organizer, it's just difficult just for having a venue. So yeah, we are working in having some guys so you can have the ideas but without telling people you must do things because we know it's difficult. We are planning to add that, that and stress it because in one of them there were three different bins but it was not publicized enough and the people was not aware of it. So, yeah. Um, uh, I love, I, I totally agree with you there but I just want to point out that I think that this is really a case of where perfect is the enemy of done or good. Mm -hmm. um, sure. Like, I think that that, that the, the, as an example, the bins thing matters a lot less for WordCamp Dublin with 100 people. Um, whereas WordCamp EU with however many thousand we have here, th those things matter a lot more. It is an issue of scale. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I think also, a l unfortunately, a lot of that is going to come down to the local cooperation. Like, for example, if you're having WordCamp Cape Town, Cape Town doesn't have recycling at all. <laughs> you know, the, the, the country doesn't recycle. Yeah. Uh, but again, WordCamp, WordCamp Cape Town would be maybe 200 people tops. Um, so m maybe, I mean, I'm all for a handbook. I, I love the idea of sort of like minimum standards, but they can be minimum standards for a small, medium, large gathering. We could, we could do something like that. Yeah. By the way, the document, if you don't know about it, is linked in, in our Slack channel. We, in our weekly meeting, we talk about it, so it's easy to find, okay? If you join, it's going to be easy to collaborate. It's open to everybody to collaborate. Uh, I maybe I have a remark, maybe I have a question, but I think this topic is very broad, and before you know what you're talking about, uh, uh, rescuing the planet. Um, uh, I was wondering, you, in your question, you say digital s sustainability. Uh, in my mind, you said, uh, let's talk about the WordPress product itself. Uh, but we're also talking, and that's very relevant, about organizing this, this type of events, uh, which I think also should include about sustainability. But I do not know, do not know if you, that's your focus? Is, is this the focus of the, this group to also think about organized events like this? Or is it just about the digi digital sustainability? Uh, that maybe, and I was wondering about that and I wrote it down. Maybe it's good to have some kind of definition of what, what are we talking about? And maybe it's already in your uh, uh, proposal, I don't know, but yeah. I think that's important to, to align what, what are we talking about? You're right about it, and it's also about creating awareness. It's also about creating awareness about what the team does. Um, and we have now the make.wordpress.org slash sustainability. There's a first post, and there's also a short definition about uh, the efforts of our team and the topics we will work on. It's not only the uh, sustainability of the CMS itself, but certainly it's also about the way we work and gather. And then we have the social and the economical part. So it is indeed uh, quite a lot of content and context to handle. Yeah, we are aware of that. Yeah. Okay. Then I think the framing, digital sustainability, was already putting my head the wrong way. <laughs> indeed, the idea is of this, and the just the, you know that the Thursday. Contributor Dave is like, everybody's welcome. So sustainability is so broad that we can really welcome a lot of people 
working in a different areas because there are a lot of things you can do. So, and for now we are open to, to yeah, to explore every ways. So, yeah, good point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so on that, uh, one more thing. Um, I'm part of the green committee at WP Engine, uh, and precisely uh, we have had exactly the same discussion and the same. Uh, uh, we, we have problems that we might run into here, and I think it's important to discuss the sustainability of our group as well. Uh, and that is, I think it's very important that we try hard and fast to get uh, a critical mass of people, because if it's, uh, I mean, uh, Pace made the point earlier, it's like a family gathering, it can't stay that way. We have to get more people involved, and I think that should be the focus to start. Because otherwise, it's just the same people over and over again. Yeah, exactly, and and that, it's great that someone cares, but it's not great that it's the same people over and over again. We need to get, um, and those people don't have to be heavily involved, but we need to generate the interest. Yeah, and in the, the uh, Work on Europe Future uh, talk uh, panel, they were talking about a bubble. We are, we as WordPress community are a bubble, and we are. People interested in sustainability are a bubble in a bubble. So I was totally agree with you. It's a point I, I have to think about after this panel, and yeah, we have to think about. Okay. Yeah, we have like three minutes left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to shut up the craziest idea? Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a small one. Um, this year's DrupalCon is in Lille, which is in France on the top. And they advertise heavily on their homepage that they're super reachable via train. Why not also advertise on new WordCamps as well? The reachability via public transport. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> Simply a good point. And what I understood from the, the panel discussion which was organized this morning is that actually the call from uh, the current uh, uh, global leads or the, no, the, lead, the leads that organize this World Camp uh, edition, um, it's all about uh, people uh, joining forces say, well, our town is the best place to host a future World Camp. So we call on those people which are which live in a town easy accessible via uh, public transport and, and railroad. Uh, to submit their town to become a future host of WordCamp Europe. Any other crazy ideas? Oh, and uh, I have to mute. <laughs> Final call for our Slack channel. If you have not joined, please join. Um, there's a link on make WordPress make.wordpress.org slash sustainability. There's a link. We gather every Friday. Um, and you're invited to join. Uh, we would be pleased to. The coming week, weeks, we will discuss what will be put on our roadmap so you can influence what's on our roadmap. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much. And uh, do enjoy Athens and WordCamp. <laughs>